Do you know what time actually is? You could spend hours on Google clicking away, diving into article after article, and still couldn't find a good answer. Today we're diving into the most precious thing, that is time. We unravel mind-bending ideas from Einstein's theory of relativity to quantum mechanics. Is time a solid thing or does it change based on where you are? Whether time is real or what time means in a physical sense? Get ready to question everything you know about seconds and hours as we make sense of this crazy clock ticking puzzle. So what exactly is time? To understand time, we should first understand the fundamentals of the universe. There is a rule in physics called the second law of thermodynamics. This law says that things in the universe naturally move from order to disorder. Imagine a sandcastle slowly eroding away at the beach. It starts off well-structured, ordered, and gradually becomes just a pile of sand, disordered. The universe works similarly. Over time, things tend to become more chaotic. This process of disorder is called entropy. As per Isaac Newton, who believed in the theory of quantum mechanics, saw time as a universal clock, marking the change like seasons or a ticking clock. On the other hand, Albert Einstein, who revolutionized this view, he proposed that time is flexible, varying with speed and gravity. So time could speed up or slow down, depending on your perspective. He called it the theory of relativity. Some modern physicists, inspired by Einstein, go even further. They ponder whether time is real or just an illusion. Is it a tangible thing we can measure? or just a concept we've created in our minds. They argue that time might not be an actual thing, but rather a way we've learned to understand the world around us. So, does time exist in reality? Let's dive into two big ideas that scientists have about time. First up, quantum mechanics. This theory talks about time equals absolute. This theory focuses more on tiny things like atoms and particles. Quantum mechanics says time is like a constant beat in a song. It doesn't change. It's the same tick-tock everywhere and for everything, whether you're a speck of dust or a bouncing ball. Now let's talk about the general theory of relativity, which talks about time equals relative. This theory focuses more on the big stuff like planets and stars. This theory flips the script and says time is like a flexible dancer, moving faster or slowly depending on where you are and what's happening around you. Imagine you're near a really heavy object, like a huge star. Time actually slows down. It's like the universe has a remote control that can speed up or slow down time. Scientists are still figuring out how to blend these two ideas into one big time recipe. That makes sense for everything, from the tiniest particles to the biggest galaxies. But the question is, what does time mean in physical terms? If time is real, then why does it flow in only one direction? Well, quantum theory believers say that every object, including time and space, is the same everywhere and for everyone. Example, if we see a red color object on Earth, then it would be red everywhere else too. But that's not the case. If you see this red object from a different position, then it may seem a different color due to the atmosphere and the distance plus angle you're looking from. This means that the color you see might be different for someone else. So why does time always seem to be moving in a forward direction? It's partly because of the way our minds work. Our brains process information in a sequence. We remember the past, experience the present, and anticipate the future. This creates a sense of time moving forward. When we think about how everything is connected, we realize that space and time can seem different to each person. According to Newton, in a dimensional space, time continues to move forward with a fixed speed regardless of the direction an object is moving towards. However, Leibniz had a different thought. He believed that space isn't fixed, but depends on how things relate to each other. For him, space is about how things are arranged at the same time, and time is about the order in which things happen. 
Later, Einstein came with a theory that focuses on gravity, which means that there has to be a space around an object to have a gravity force. Hence, he landed his conclusion about time somewhere in between absolute and relative. But Einstein theory has some limitations, like it doesn't define the singularity of black holes, and not even quantum theory explains it. There's also a concept called the block universe. This idea uses four dimensions, three for space and one for time. So, does time exist? Emergence theory is a really interesting idea that adds more to what Einstein thought about space and time. Imagine space and time as one big shape where the past, present, and future are all happening at the same time. This shape is like a big system where every moment in time is always connected to every other moment. In other words, there is a constant, dynamic, casualty loop relationship between all moments in time, in which the past influences the future and the future influences the past. This theory became even more convincing when we learned about quantum entanglement. In simple words, quantum entanglement is when two tiny particles are linked together in a special way. Even if they are very far apart, what happens to one particle can affect the other one instantly. This isn't just an idea, it's actually proved with an experiment. In 2022, the Nobel Prize in Physics was given to Elaine Aspect, John F. Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger for their amazing work with entangled photons, a type of particle. They showed that these particles could be linked together in a special way, even when they are far apart. This discovery changed how we think about tiny particles and led to new ideas in technology. Having said that, is time an illusion? Well, no. Some scientists believe time is an emergent property of the universe. This concept can be understood by comparing it to water. We can study the atoms of water and understand its properties. Yet this doesn't fully explain why ocean waves emerge. Well, this happens because waves are an emergent property of water, formed by the combination of billions of water atoms. Similarly, time could be an emergent property arising from significant activities in space. Therefore, if water waves are real, so is time. Time's reality is so profound that it's integral to forming scientific theories and basing mathematical calculations. Consider Einstein's famous theory of relativity, which includes time as a fourth dimension. This theory accurately addresses questions raised by previous findings. For instance, why does the speed of light remain constant in every situation? How does light from a source maintain its speed for both moving and stationary objects? Let's explore this using a car analogy. Suppose you're driving at 100 miles per hour and a stationary police car with a speed gun measures your speed. The speed gun will register 100 miles per hour. However, if the police car is moving in the same direction as yours at 40 miles per hour, the speed gun will show your speed at 60 miles per hour the relative speed of both cars. Conversely, if the police car moves in the opposite direction, the speed gun will show 140 miles per hour, adding the speeds of both cars. Now, replace the car with light in this example. What happens when we measure the speed of light? Common sense might suggest it would be the same as with the car, but it's not. In the case of light, both scenarios yield the same result. But how is it possible? Well, thanks to the genius Einstein, who explains that the results will be the same in both cases because the time gets slower to conserve the speed of light and space will contract as well. Confused? Einstein used to believe that time never remained constant everywhere in space. For moving observer, Time runs slower compared to a stationary object, and that's why the value of speed of light never changes and remains constant. Understand this way. What the time slows for a fast-moving object, that means it's one second is longer than the one second for a stationary object. So when light travels, it will reach the same proportion in time for fast-moving as well as for stationary objects. 
That means time flows at a different speed at different locations in the universe due to the effect of motion and gravity, and light remains constant. So we hope this video has explained what time and space actually are. We love to hear your ideas. Do you agree more with Einstein's theory of relativity or theory of quantum mechanics? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for joining us on this journey to understand time and space. Keep thinking about these amazing mysteries of our universe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.